Peace. What it is. All right. All right. This this guy Graham Hancock. He's pretty popular in the metaphys in the European metaphysical uh, community, right? He go through evidence of Earth's lost civilization. He go through archaeology. He proved that a lot of it is older than they say, and that all um. Most, I think he basically proved because I haven't read the whole book, but I get the gist is um that all the ancient cultures were connected. The Olmec Empire, Egyptian. The ancient Asian, you know, China's China Empire, whatever, all connected. You know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, fingerprints of the gods. Okay, but my point in this video is this is what happens to my black folks, right? When y'all don't claim y'all heritage, right? When we don't claim what we are, and we just want to claim Africa. This is what happens. These Europeans will claim your shit. Okay, listen. Uh, let me see. Uh, look, fuck it. Viracocious bushy beard and pale complexion made him sound like a, coca a Caucasian. All right? You know, he's talking about the so-called savior or, you know, the god of that time. You know, how every culture has their god. Right? But at the same, on the, in the same book, he admits... Here then was the first mystery of the old mix. My new piece goes 2,000 years, which portrayed a subject with unmistakably Negroid features. There were, of course, no African blacks in the New World 2,000 years ago, nor did any arrive until the slave and slave trade began. Well, after the conquest, there is, however, firm pantheological evidence that one of the many different migrations into America during the last ice age did consist of people of Negroid stock. It did consist of people. You, you see? You, you, okay. You understand this shit? He, okay, he's a, he knows that the whole Olmec civilization, which is the first civilization, predate the Mayan, okay? He know that was all black folks. But yet he still would say stupid shit like that. And, and, and he'll say that, they, that the God Look at this. Look at this. And last but not least, a secret legend brought to life for for it seemed the flesh might indeed have been put on mythical bones of Quasi Koto when I found that several of the Laventa sculptures consisted realistic likeness not only of Negro of Negroes, but of tall, thin featured, long nosed, apparently Caucasian men with straight hair and full beards. Okay? You, you see, you see how they trying to steal your shit, all right? Even though they got the pictures in here of niggas all day long, he's showing the comparison between the Sphinx and the Omeg heads. It's just the same people did the same shit. But yeah, he gonna tell you, and he know. Okay, so just to prove a quick point. The word white, right? Come down, you'll see. That before 900, right? White meant wit, meant wheat. Okay? It did not start being describing people, and really didn't then, but we'll just say since this says 900, it didn't start describing people till then. Okay? This guy is talking about that he heard this story. Where am I at? Page 103. He heard this story. From Spanish, okay, for example, for example, one pre-Columbian myth collected in Mexico by 16th century Spanish, uh, whatever, uh, colon or whatever, this cat, asserted that quasi Coto was fair and really complexion man with the long beard. Another spoke of him as da -da -da, a large man, brought as long as round, round beard, right? This mysterious person, a white man with strong foundation, Formation of bone, broad head, large eyes, long, blah, 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 white robe. You see, you see what I'm saying? Hold on. He say the same shit over here. He basically make, he trying to say the great Kukokin, which is, anyway, I ain't gonna go there. Feather, the feather serpent, okay, was a mind counterpart of Quasi Koto, okay? So he know that, that Quasi Koto and Kukokin and all, all these you know, people were mythological people. They were the Jesus of their time. You know, the Herus of the different... Uh, but check it out. They'll give them what tradition seems to indicate that the bearded, pale-skinned foreigner called quasi Koto. Do you see? Oh, had not... Had been not just one person, but probably several people who came from time... 
from the same place and had begin belonged to a same distinctive non-Indian ethnic type bearded white skinned men. This was this wasn't only suggested that the existence of the family obviously related but slightly different guys sharing the same da 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 portrayed in many Mexican and Mayan accounts as having been accompanied by assistance. So he's saying that white folks came and taught black folks every fucking thing they know. Like usual, claiming your shit because you don't want because you niggas want to be from Africa. Now look at this, another European going to tell the fucking truth for a time. Look at this. Where we at? Old Meghead. The Old Meghead. An Old Meghead, early incarnation of Quasi Koto. There it is. There it is. How the fuck is that a white man? You see what I'm saying? Steal your shit when you don't claim it. Cool with the African shit, man. We are African, man. We're African love and all that, man. That's what's up, blah, blah, blah. We Moors, man. We Americans. They know that shit and they claim it because you don't. Peace.